when he looks so cold and bare. Well, God, I felt luxurious then in the past he was there. On my confirmation day, I received a brand new suit. And I nearly choked inside it, to tell you all the truth. <laughs> Gone for air were boyhood days. From then with men I should compare. Or something died inside me that day with the pants I used to wear. Now the time is not far distant when I'll succumb to strife. And I hope God will take me to a new and better life. But you know my vision of heaven. <clears throat> Tis one of joys beyond compare, a rough and witty interest in the country of Israel. Right on. <laughs> Over valley take the water, and the salty go misty and grey. At home on the mainland, our wives and our daughters are wishing good luck on the day. With a west wind long blowing, our nets filled or flowing, from a shoal that broke under our lee. Then raise high a chorus, the way lies before us, with a boat full of spoil from the sea. The wind from the westlands is cool <coughs> and smiting, and Young lambs we scarcely can sail, while the wind from the eastland is callous and blighting, and it adds a full fold to the wave. O oh, sweet west wind singing, a seagull low winging, is our hooker that skims light and free. So raise high a chorus. The way lies before us with a bone full of spoil from the sea. The wind from the southlands is soft and beguiling, <coughs> and it quickens the seeds we have set. But the wind from the westlands is soothing and smiling, and it brings the fresh fish to the nest. And oh, so all from the west wind. So, and it brings the fresh fish to the well, to the nail. Oh, no, I'm there, but you're getting all right. Keep it on. the west wind. For oh, tis the best wind <laughs> to save all poor fishers from dree. A race high, a chorus, Kilmore lies before us with our bones full of spy from the sea. <laughs> Fill me round the sail, and he more safely guide her. One more tack, and we make for the pier. See my Ellen with Margaret, and Stacia beside her, may I hear this come safe to my dear. O sweet Queen of Heaven, let praise me be given to the babe who once sat on thy knee, while we raised high our chorus, the while his blessing hung o'er us. In the bowl full of spoil from the sea. Oh, my God. 
gallant steed is restless now, a strong hand on his rein. His friends and foes no more shall drain the hunting ground again. My sword is rusty in its sheath, that gallant raven land. That flashed dead to many a lion foe, oh, brave and loyal friend. The ribbons from my true love's neck around its hilt of gold. But the snow white hand that put them there is lifeless now and cold. I rode in joy and gladness o'er heaving hill and plain. I returned in pain and sorrow on my homeward way again. I saw the snow white rocket tremble brightly in the sky, but my heart like heavy ring clouds when the stars refuse their light. I will get my brave steed ready, and I'll ride far, far away. I will get my brave steed ready, and I'll ride the live long day, until I seek out my Eunice grave in an island in Loch and I'll pluck a flower off. It's flowers and gave it cold, cold clay. <laughs> 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 On the 
hill or the town, they have planted a gun that will batter the gateways to us. All ye fortmen and baggy men will march o'er the heat with proud Harvey to lead on the van. But the foremost of all in that grim cap of death will be Kelly, the boy from Killan. But the gold son of freedom will be darkened us as it set by the slain in his red wings. And poor Wexford, stripped naked, hung high on the cross, with her heart pierced by traitor and slain. Glorio, Glorio to the brave sons who died for the cause of long down trodden man. Glorio to Mount Leinster's own darling and pride. The distance my long absence will grieve you, but I will be with you in the spring of the year. Don't let my long absence be any worries of your love, or any strange notions that come into your mind. Although we are parting, we are true and love. And when I return now, it will be just like old times. I will dress like a sailor, she said I'll go with you. In the midst of all dangers, by your side I will stand. If there be any storms, nor raging seas round you, I'll be there, love, beside you, to obey your command. Your small little fingers cannot hold the strong table, and your small little feet to the top mass cannot go. Your small slender body this life can't endure long. Stay at home, love, and Mary, who deceives you not more. Soon the big ship is sailing, lovely Mary sadly waiting. Her red rosy cheeks, now as white as the snow. Her gay golden locks, she continually tearing. Sing, I must say, love, I'll thy love, shall I ne'er see you
that you kept here on me. And I said, here's a hand to old comrade, she cried, and for those who are battling for freedom on the green hills of heaven they die. Here's a hand to the poor Patrick daughter. My Donald the brave Calbrew to the noble and brave Denny Lacy, who died to give Ireland her due, and here is to those who will cherish, to those on the high gallows tree, ancient elders who never denied us. Such Christians as you and as me. Then he said, my kind-hearted old woman, come and fill us a glass of ideal, for there's honour in gallant Irish glory. Which was proved in your little shimmy. Yeah.
was Danny Mac. It's a great rush to last for the sun. It's just seven miles there and back. What with the cows to be milked just at daybreak and a trip to the Cramer Hill store. It's a matter of split second time. So I drop on one knee at the door. I've worn out a dozen young curates and of parish priests, not a few. So they all did their best, but unavailable, to get me up to the front of you. So my father, he knelt there before me. I am his father, and his father before. So there, like a rock, I keep kneeling, down on one knee at the door. Now, it's not that I'm lukewarm in me own way, I'm again to close to God. And I do all my best for the place of, in the way his own son has tried. And when he's raised up at the elevation, my heart would love it just so, and I just says, Master, I love you, down on one knee at the door. Once when there was a mission, the preacher came racing, racing outside, and all the shonies that knelt there beside me, they melted away like the snow. But there, like a rock, I kept kneeling, as firm as a pile on the shore. And the preacher just says, Bless you, my son. So I stayed on one knee at the door. <laughs> now, they all have their fine motors. I've only got down Cramery's heart. But when Mass is a kind of almost nearly ended, I'm away to a real flying start. With a pony flat out at a gallop, I say a dozen aves or more. I hope that will please the master for being down on one knee at the door. I love my wee farm in Ephraim. And I'm not one bit afraid to face death. Shall I be getting ready every day to meet it? Shall it be my first holiday on earth? And if I find heaven overcrowded, I'll do as I did here before. I'll say to St. Peter, this will suit me fine. And I drop the money at the door. It's my turn. And Chapter's padding sheep are still on fold. She was something her to doubt for nineteen years old. She took off her razor and she thrown his aside. She screwed up her left leg to twice twelve inches wide. She took her simple side on the cap and the draw. She was something her to doubt for nineteen years old.
and rum on top and a spoon not less. As a bear a gin cocktail, she ought to have more sense. When she asked for more, I fell on the floor. I She said she'd bring her family round one day and we'd have fun. Then I gave the man the fifty pence and this is what he done. He tore my clothes, he smashed my nose, he made me very sore. He gave me a prize, a pair of black eyes and with me swept the floor. He held me where my clothes hung loose and threw me over a fence. Take my advice, don't try it twice if you want. Hold me. Yes, you did, so you did, so did he, so did I. And the more I think about it, the nearer I am to cry. Oh, wasn't it a happy time when troubles we had not? And our mothers made our cannon in that little spot. Oh, did you ever bring the baby cake? In a basket to the school, tucked underneath your arm with your book, your slate and rule. And when the teacher was a open shirt, he quite your shake. Of the creamy flavor, but a soft and sweet potato cake. Yes, you did, so you did, so did he, so did I. In the more I think about the two, the dear I am to cry. Oh, wasn't it a happy time when the summer seed had not? And our mothers made our cannon in the hill. Oh, did you ever go a courting as the evening sun went down? And the moon became a peeping from behind the hill or down. As you wander down the old boring, where the leprechaun was seen, and you could bring the lovely faces to your little fair Colleen. Yes, you did, so you did, so did he, so did I, and the more I think about the children, the more I am to cry. Oh, what a dear happy time when nobody had not, and the moon made her cannon in the dark. Yes, you did. I've had it. So did he, so did I. In the moon, I think about the children, the dear I am to cry. Oh, what a dear happy time when nobody had not. And our mother's name is Jim Smith. Jim Smith. Jim Smith. Jim He made up his mind his soul searching was grey, his poor be adopted or he then grey. It was Tommy Carver who had his fine born, who he sold him to Jim to regain his world. But Jim's son, Mick, wasn't really amused. 
What good is it, Yandel, when we have them to do? <laughs> they built a high fence around the garden at home, in case that is, Yandel had notions for home. But there in his compound he felt rather sad, he had no one to share those decisions he had. Early one morning when theme time came, Jim Rogers, this boy was a little bit lame. He knew straight away that some help he should get. He went up to Jehovah, the right from the bell. <laughs> the veterinary sergeant came later that day. He checked out the candle, his heart was okay. His blood pressure knob and his lungs are free, and his bowels and his kidneys seem to always be. Now there's one little problem, he says with a sigh. He rolled me one stone and he's blind in one hole. <laughs> his heart to perform when he rolled me one stone. At his worst when he gamble can't see where he's going. <laughs> In London they might do a transplant on him. <laughs> the medical service in England is great, and they might find the young of the stores to donate. <laughs> As a gym, you must think I have more money than sense. A poor man like me couldn't meet that expense. He's not stopping here if he's no good at stall. And fit Tommy Cock of the soul in the <laughs> With this visit, he feedingly pocket his slack. I'd sell him, he says, to me friend in mind. He can play with the greyhounds, help them to get fit. With the tourists in summer, he might make it in. Eight my daughter, he runs along far and many a local drops in for his jar. Uh, says Jim, I've a bird, he's the best in God's bridge, and maybe next Christmas he'd fill up your fridge. <laughs> the bargain was made, it was signed up and sealed, but the price they agreed on was never revealed. I'll feed him on barley and with him a sliced pan with a few pints of Guinness to wash down the bran. <laughs> the weeks they went by, but he didn't get fat. He ate like a horse, he was as thin as a lad. I fed him, says Aidan, I can't do any more. I'll banish this bolt to the sweet river no. Himself and Tom Dunn and they crushed the plan. They loaded the gander in the bank of the van. <laughs> when Aidan went in to get Tommy a fine, Tom had the old gander tied up in a bag. <laughs> Off on the journey, this couple did steal, with Aidan the pilot and Tom in the rear. But somehow the old gander got loose from the sack, and he's sick and poor done with his business. <laughs> now that he's free like the young he has six, remember he's gone to ease up to his face. There's no even no trout will be safe anymore, with Jim Keyes' gander set free on the door. And if it should happen, he'd come back some day. We know fairly soon if he's normal or gay. <laughs> but the first place you'll find him now that he's loose is down in Dollar Bay with the Temple Town <laughs> No, he let out of sight. They spoke of 
my father's have done and things they ought to do. By the fire an old man sat, his face was white as snow. Sat listening with the pens of till the tears began to flow. He heard them speak of the three rocks, New Russell Bay, Bigger Hill, and with the name of 98, where he tried his heart to fill. From the harbour the story drew, and from the hole he told. A shining blade with spear like hand, the bomb of eye Sing thy cloak gone, he will further now, and in his hand did see. At such the height of ninety-eight, that fought for liberty. For that three fox I must confer to fight against the old. At our art next I turn this point against my country's foe. From Gory Town unto New Rusty Light in every break. Oh, why is it wants the glorious light? But oh, we lost the day. Now many men we weary here has come and gone since then. Could I become a man once more? I would do the same again. Could I become a man once more, as young as one? With my green coat and trusty pipe, I would fight for liberty. So then be true to Ireland's cause, and never be dismayed. Yes, another day like that will come when I am in my grave. Yes, another day like that will come, and when the prey begin, be true to those of '98, and Lord Ireland, my will win. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Fortress Town. Surrender,
kitchen door. The missioners were friendly men with sermons grave and gay. They said to leave the flowery veil and walk the tarny way. I wouldn't contradict them, but I'm certain all the time that those who walk our chapel road will atone for any crime. I'm glad they told a yarn or two to cheer us through a year. Of rising vat and talks and get, of blight and loss and fear, of fluke and slugs and hoos and bugs and earworm by the tongue. We'd need a sense of humour, Mick, to help us carry on. They spoke about injustice too and asked us to atone. 
and give to Caesar what is his and to everyone his own. I wouldn't contradict him, but I, I've been doubtful all along. I wonder to the devil me, was it he who took the scrum? <laughs> this, this said, beware of Satan, he's lurking everywhere. I got a whiff of him today from Jack McCarthy's mayor. <laughs> I want, I know where he's working with his clay and cloven feet. He's in every drill on Dooley's Hill where I'm trying to tell the bees. Make Larkin's daughter staggered us with her objects to be blessed. They fill the seas and then she started home to bring the rest. I think that lass has a face of brass but she didn't seem to care as she marched her greyhound up the aisle for a very special prayer. <laughs> Mick Lacey missed the talk on hell. I told him twas a tree. With talk of brimstone, thirst and pain and everlasting heat. He scratched his beard and answered me with a frightful look of scorn. I've eighty sudden acres past I'm in hell since I was born.